Hi, this is Alan from Inglorious Tech, and in this video, I'm doing a reality review on the OnePlus 3. After using this device for 4 months, here are the 5 things that matter to me the most in terms of real world usage. You guys probably already know the specs by now, so I'll just leave it here for a little bit. Let's start with the price. The price of this phone is really good. You can get the phone for just 400 bucks, no invites this time, so you can buy it straight from the OnePlus website. In 2016, there's really no need to spend over $400 for a quality smartphone. With the same amount of money, you can also consider the Exxon 7, Honor 8, Idol 4S, and more. They also have the soft gold version with a white front if you're into something more elegant. The value you get with this device is just speechless. I'm talking about this. Let's move on to the design and build quality of the phone. The OnePlus 3 has got a full metal finish on the back with a slightly protruding camera hump. It also has this slick aluminum frame which completes the high-end look of the phone. It's got a high screen-to-body ratio which is definitely a plus. Here is the bottom firing speaker, USB-C charging port, and a headphone jack. You also get a blazing fast fingerprint scanner that works 95% of the time. Believe me, this is the fastest fingerprint scanner in the market, comparing to the top dogs of the S7 Edge, Moto Z, and the Nexus 6P. You also get a power button on the right, a volume rock and an alert slider on the left. I actually find the alert slider to be more useful than I thought. I switch it to priority when I'm at work, so I only get notification from phone calls and certain important apps. And I switch it to the silence mode when I'm watching a movie in case my phone goes off. I'm also happy that they decided to put the OnePlus logo on the back instead of the front. Like the S7 Edge, the Honor 8, uh, the Moto Z. I know that a lot of people say that the design is rather conventional and boring, and actually looks like an iPhone or HTC. But to me, it is a tried and true design that works. While the phone gives you a nice grip, but the metal finish is very slippery to hold. Personally, I don't think it's too much of a hassle as I use it with a carbon fiber case from Amazon, which doesn't add too much bulk and provides a firmer grip. Oh, and it covers the annoying camera hump. Moving on to software and performance. The OnePlus 3 is running on Android Marshmallow with its own oxygen skin. With Snapdragon 820 and a 6GB of RAM, the phone flies. It performs extremely well in web browsing, tap switching, playing high-end games, or watching HD videos. It's actually faster than my S7 Edge in daily usage. There was a dispute over the RAM management, but the recent updates have gotten that fixed. Oxygen OS gives you a nearly pure injury experience with a few tips and tricks. For example, you can draw a circle to open the camera, draw a V to turn on flashlight, Enable dark mode to save battery, choose an accent color to match your theme, customize the color of your LED notification for your apps. Also, there is the shelf, which is a swipe away from your home screen that allows you to get quick access to things like weather, notes, and contacts. Everything is widget based so you can adjust them to your liking. With all that said, I'm not really a big fan of the shelf feature, as well as the oxygen interface. So I just use a third party launcher to cover the skin. In my experience, I believe the software is the most crucial factor when it comes to using the phone on a daily basis. In this case, OnePlus really delivers with your Oxygen OS. To put it in few words, it is a simple skin with useful utility. Mm. Moving on to the camera, OnePlus 3 has a 16 megapixel Sony sensor and a lens with f2.0 aperture. It also comes with optical image stabilization and face detection autofocus. The camera performance is pretty good on the OnePlus 3. The colors are vibrant without being too overblown, and all the images look sharp with fast autofocus and shutter speed. I was testing the camera quality with my OnePlus 3 against my S7 Edge. It actually put up a pretty good fight. You can see the colors are a bit washed out on the OnePlus 3. Also, the phone does suffer in low light shots, but it's not bad at all. OnePlus 3 is also capable of recording 4K videos. While the visual aspect is superb, the video is a little shaky and the voices can sound a bit distant and muffled. Let's talk about the battery. Personally, the 3000 million battery can last me a whole day of use. I usually get at least 3-4 to four hours of screen on time, which is pretty average given the size of the battery. I don't play any games, I mostly just browse the web, go on Facebook, and watch some YouTube videos. I would suggest you to turn off the notifications for high battery consuming apps like Facebook or Instagram, or you can turn on the battery saving mode if you want to reserve more juice. Last but not least, I want to talk about OnePlus's proprietary dash charging capability. When they promise a days of power in half an hour, they're not kidding. 
I get 60% of the battery in just 30 minutes. Holy sh! And that's about 20% faster than Qualcomm's quick charge technology. So what did OnePlus do differently to achieve this groundbreaking result? Well, the standard quick charge applies high voltage to increase the flow of the power. In contrast, dash charge uses high current to produce power, which is why their wire is made a lot thicker than others. The downside is that you can only use OnePlus branded charging brick and cable to utilize this technology. With dash charge, I now only charge my phone in the morning and the middle of the day. For just 30 minutes, you are good to go. Overall, this phone is fantastic. You get way more than what you pay for. A top of the line processor, 6GB of RAM, AMOLED display, smooth and snappy OS, pretty solid camera and dash charging. Some people may say the screen is only 1080p, but I really can't tell the lack of pixels unless I put it right next to my S7 Edge. I do have to say that the auto brightness adjustment can be quite off sometimes, and the Bluetooth connection functions inconsistently. With all that said, OnePlus 3 is a powerhouse that I would recommend to anyone who doesn't want to break a bank for a speedy, pure Android experience with good camera and fantastic charging capability. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is actually my first review video and everything is filmed with my S7 Edge. Please let me know if there's anything specific I should improve on. If you have any questions, feel free to note it down on the comment section below. That'll do it for me. This is Alan from Inglorious Tech and I'll catch you guys in the next one.